I'm Daniel Wiley, um, 58, and I'm living over in Point Richmond. Okay. I live on the boat. Okay. And how long have you been sailing? I've been sailing about 10 years now. I've owned this boat for about 10 years, but basically I've sailed since I was 20. Okay. Quite a long time. Okay. And I know that you've done one of these before. Um, when did it first come onto your radar? Well, I figured it would be the ultimate race back in 2010, and I started prepping in 2010 for the 2012 Transpac at that point. Uh -huh. So that's about when it started. Okay. And what other kind of events do you sail in to prepare for an event like this? I've been doing the Offshore Yacht Racing Association's uh, San Francisco circuit for maybe seven or eight years now. I highly recommend it for anybody that's trying to do a, a, a race like this because it's going to prepare you for the toughest waters they are. And those are San Francisco waters. So that's that's the way to go. Okay. OIRA. Okay. And what is it you specifically enjoy about single-handed racing? Well, it's adrenaline, it's peace and harmony, it's, uh, it's just satisfaction, and there's just a feeling that you get when you're out there deep ocean, you're looking at the Milky Way at night, and it's fabulous. It's just something, you gotta love it. Okay, and tell us about your boat. I did take some pictures of it earlier, and I'll come by later with a video camera, but give me uh, some sense about what your boat, what you... Uh, um, there's a couple of ways to do this race. You can get a real sprinter or you can get a comfortable boat. I chose the comfortable route because uh, staying wet for 14 days isn't my idea of fun. So I get to stay high and dry on my boat. It's pretty comfortable uh, and it's got decent water lines so I'll get a hull speed of about 8.3 on the boat. And that's pretty fast, so it's a big boat. Okay, and uh, the make of it and the age and the length? Uh, Galaxy is a Nauticat 44, and she's 44 feet long, 48 and a half overall, so it carries big sail. And she's from 1985, believe it or not. Okay, and what, if any, mods have you done to the boat for uh, your single-handed sailing? Um, all the halyards are all high-tech line now. All the sheets are high-tech line now. All the sails are basically new at this point. Three new kites, a big kite, a small kite, and a medium kite. I've added a carbon fiber pole, and the pole on Galaxy is 21 feet long, so it's a monster. Uh, up the battery bank to 900 amps, so I've got lots of capacity in the battery. Solar panels have been added. Uh, Wind generator has been added to the mizzen mast, which is kind of nice. Well, uh, it's about where it needs to be. Okay. And uh, if you could have any boat you wanted for this race, what would it be? Well, the boat I would want to race this boat in would be an open 60. It's just a dream to be able to run an open 60. But I don't want to own that boat. <laughs> I just want to race that boat. All right. And uh, goals for this particular race? I want to do well. I, I did this in 2012. I took my knocks. I learned. This year, with the weather forecast, I expect to do well. And I'm going to push it as hard as I can. Okay. And your plans after the race? Are you staying in Hawaii? Are you, uh... Yeah, I'm going to stay in for probably about a week. My work is requiring me to get back as quick as possible. And Galaxy is a little too big to ship back, so I'll be sailing it back. Uh, game plan, get back here to go to work on August 11th. That's basically it. All right. By the way, the return trip is a fun trip. If All everybody right. hasn't done it, it's fun to do. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Daniel.